Cash may be king, but credit card giant Visa is offering some small businesses an incentive to get rid of it altogether. Julie Watts is here with the cost and the rewards of going cashless. Jules? That's right. Bay Area based Visa's biggest competitor isn't MasterCard or Amex, it's cash. Cash still makes up the largest chunk of retail transactions, more than 30%. Likely why that credit card giant is encouraging retailers to get rid of ca cash, and that's a trend that can be both good and bad for consumers. Every time you swipe, the credit card company gets a percentage. Now Visa is working to get more swipes with its new cashless challenge, offering $10,000 to up to 50 food service businesses if they go completely cashless, something a handful of restaurants like Sweet Green began experimenting with last year. There can be costs associated with handling cash. Christina Tetro of Consumers Union explains, despite transaction fees, going cashless can benefit small businesses. It speeds up service and prevents what's known as shrink, lost or stolen cash. According to Bankrate, more than two-thirds of consumers carry $50 or less, 9% don't carry any cash at all, and in many cases, credit can be safer for consumers. Credit cards are a better option for consumers because they carry increased protections, such as a chargeback rate. If an item is defective or service incomplete, you can dispute the charge on a credit card, and if your wallet is stolen, your cash is gone, but you're not responsible for unauthorized charges on a compromised card. Though keep in mind, a debit card does not offer the same protections even if you swipe it as credit. If your debit card is compromised, you lose access to your own money. With a compromised credit card, it's the bank's money. When consumers use a debit card at a point of sale, they may unknowingly put their bank balance at risk. Now, there are drawbacks to going cashless. People who pay with plastic tend to spend an estimated 12 to 18 percent more, making it easy to rack up interest fees, which can be costly for consumers, but good for business, especially the credit card companies. Now, one other downside, some consumers like the anonymity of paying cash. They don't want to be tracked. Mm. And 7% of Americans don't have bank accounts. They can't get a credit card. A cashless business shuts out those consumers. Right now, Massachusetts is the only state that prohibits cashless businesses. There's no law prohibiting it no. everywhere else. Interesting wow. trend. Yeah. Yeah, convenient, but, yeah. you know, you've got to be mindful of those fees and how much you're spending. And